Hello everybody, Andrew Reed here from Canadian Financial Journey and we are going to take a look at the September money and stock market dates to be aware of. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, September 7th we have the Bank of Canada meeting so um, big question there are they going to finally acknowledge the recession? Are they going to back off on this rate hike attitude? We'll find out September 7th. September 8th we have the US unemployment report. Um, so the higher that number goes, the more likely their Federal Reserve will back off on the rate hikes. Very important, uh, very important news there. Also their consumer credit report. September 9th, we have Canada's unemployment and average wages report. Should be interesting. Uh, September 13th, we have the United States CPI. That's the inflation report. Really important. That number backs off. That's going to be a good sign. The their Federal Reserve wants to push it all the way down to 2%, just like the Canadian Bank of Canada does. Very lofty goal, very damaging to do it in this way, in my personal opinion. But uh, anyways, we'll find out September 13th with the United States, um, if they've managed to conquer their inflation in any way, or if it's conquered itself. And also their uh, Treasury statement, that'll be the, basically what do they have on the books, what are they buying in terms of bonds. Also, uh, UK unemployment on September 13th. September 14th, we have um, the UK CPI and inflation, pretty important. Also, US PPI and Canada manufacturing, a few smaller reports there. Um, then we have September 16th, we have uh, US consumer sentiment um, and Canada housing starts will give us a little bit of insight into the real estate market. September 20th, Canadian CPI and inflation and US housing starts. September 21st, we have U.S. home sales, and uh, we have their Federal Reserve meeting. Um, so this is going to show us how will Jay Powell react to another to a weaker jobs report. Um, so they're expecting 545, only got somewhere in the 220,000 range. How does Jay Powell react to that? Does he see that as a sign of a weakening economy, or is he just going to continue his drive to push it down to 2% inflation by raising rates um, and really the the answer to that is probably yes he's going to continue with his drive so the real question will be will it be a 50 point base uh, 50 point hike or 75 point hike and that can make a big difference in the stock market especially going into the fourth quarter of 2022 okay moving on in terms of dates um, September 22 US uh, leading indicators report uh, and then September 27th, uh, 7th, US, U.S. Consumer Confidence Report. Uh, September 28th, U.S. Wholesale Industries. Now, super important, September 29th, we have the United States and Canada GDP. So this is going to let us know. Uh, Canada did f better than negative on their last GDP, but the United States did not. Is the United States going to continue with their negative GDP? And will Canada fall into that? Um, we'll find out September 29th. September 30th, we have a few smaller reports. We have the U.S. personal income um, and spending report, consumer sentiment, and we'll get the U.K. GDP. So those are the dates that we need to be aware of in September. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if it was helpful at all to you and please subscribe to this channel and may the market force be with you.